Hello, this is Texas PK, and welcome to another installment of Noobstone, where we take a simplified look at how different redstone components work so that we can better understand how to build redstone contraptions. Today we're going to be taking a look at the simple OR gate. OR gates are used in a lot of different logic circuits in redstone, and so it's really important to understand exactly how to put them to use. So let's get started and I'll show you exactly how they work. Now a basic OR gate consists of two inputs, input A and input B, and a single output. The inputs can be any sort of redstone power source that you choose. Uh, for the sake of this tutorial, it's going to be a simple lever, but this can be, consist of any input circuit that you want. As simple as a lever or as complicated as a multi-component circuit, each of which is separate from each other. To help understand how OR gates work, we're going to take a look at this simple chart on screen. As you can see, as long as either of these two inputs, input A or B, are on, the output will be on. The only time the output is off is when both A and B are off. Let's take a quick look at how to build an OR gate. It's very simple. Coming out of each of the inputs, you put a redstone dust, and then connect them together with redstone dust. Then take those two where they join and bring it directly to the output of the circuit. And that's all there is to making an OR circuit. It's a very simple one to build. And as you can see, when we flick the lever for input A, the output goes on. And when we flick the lever for B, the output goes on. And if both of them are on, or it is on. The only time the circuit is off on the output is when both the input A and input B are off. Now this will work for more than just two inputs. All you have to do is just tie in an additional input into the output circuit in the same way. And if you turn on this one or any of the others, it works in the same way. As long as the distance from the third input is within the range of the redstone dust signal, it will work just fine. Now in addition to an OR gate, we want to take a look at what's called a NOR gate. A NOR gate is simply the same thing as an OR gate, but with a NOT gate on the end of the circuit going to the output. As you take a look at a this simple chart, you will see that as long as either of these inputs are on, the output will be off. And the only time that the output will be on is if both the input A and input B circuits are in the off position. So let's take a look at how to build that. If you watched our NOT gate tutorial, you know that a NOT gate is simply a redstone torch sticking off the end of a solid block. So if we remove this dust and this dust here, place a solid block here and then reconnect these two together, and then place a redstone torch off the end of this block, we now have a NOR gate. And as you can see, both the input A and input B are in the OFF position, which means the output is ON. And as long as you turn on either one of the inputs, or both of them, the output will be OFF. And just like the OR gate, you can add on as many inputs to this as you want, as long as the signal will reach the redstone torch. And that is the simple OR and NOR gates. But let's go ahead and take a look at some examples of how we can put this to use. Now to demonstrate an OR gate, we're going to use our nice little house here again. As you can see, we have a redstone lamp that we want to have turned on by either this lever, or when it gets dark outside, by using a daylight sensor. Now if we come around the back side of our wall, we can see that whenever that lever is turned on, it will power this redstone dust, which then is fed up to our redstone lamp. We also have our light sensor here, that whenever it is dark enough outside, let's go ahead and demonstrate that by putting a piece of wool over it. You can see that it is now dark enough that this light redstone lamp is turned on. 
However, we also want to be able to turn it on manually. So let me just put a lever there so that if it's lighter outside, we can still turn it on with the lever inside so it can be lit up by either situation. And that's how you use a simple OR gate. There are lots of other ways in which you can use it and quite a few complicated circuits that can be built by combining OR gates in various different ways. But hopefully this demonstrates the basic concepts of how OR gates work. But that's it for today. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and it helps you out in your world. And that you can put it to use somewhere in your own redstone circuits. If you do, let me know other ways in which you have used OR gates. But on that note, I'd like to say thanks for watching and I hope to see you again in the next one. But until then, this is Texas BK. Be good to each other. Bye.